welcome to Real Reviews, where we take a look at major Hollywood releases and let you know if they're worth your time, money, and patience. I'm your host, Walter Bernaziak, and today we travel into what-if territory with the John Schnepp documentary, The Death of Superman Lives. What happened? This documentary looks at the story behind Superman Lives, a film that was in development for over two years and got canceled only three weeks before filming was set to begin. The movie was meant to bring Superman back to the big screen for the first time in over a decade and was going to feature a very different version of the Man of Steel. In the doc, Schnepp interviews several people involved with the development of the project while showing off artwork and designs that would have been featured in Superman Lives if it had been made. Kevin Smith penned the first draft of the script, Tim Burton was brought on to direct, and Nicolas Cage was set to star as Superman himself. Everything was set to go when the plug was unceremoniously pulled. This has been a subject that has interested me for years. Why was Superman absent from the big screen for so long? Superman IV The Quest for Peace came out in 1987 and ended the Christopher Reeve run as the character. We didn't get another Superman movie until 2006's Superman Returns. That's almost 20 years without a Superman movie. One hadn't even come out in my lifetime until the 2006 effort. This is when I began doing my own research online. I uncovered small details and even a few pictures of the proposed Superman movie that was supposed to come out in 1998. I was hungry for more details and answers, but they were very hard to come by. Fast forward to 2013 and John Schnepp announces a Kickstarter campaign to launch a documentary project about what happened with that film. I was ecstatic. After combing through the rewards on the Kickstarter page, I donated a small amount to the campaign. It wasn't much, but I wanted to see this movie succeed. I wanted to know what this Superman film was supposed to be and why we never got to see it. After a very, very long wait, the movie finally became available to the public and it did what it set out to do, tell the story of what happened with this failed project. And it doesn't disappoint. The interviews are interesting and detailed with Schnepp getting to sit down with everyone from Kevin Smith to Tim Burton. The only major piece of the puzzle missing was Nicolas Cage himself. He appeared in old costume fitting footage, which is freaking awesome, but Schnepp never got to talk with him about the project. His take on everything would have been great to hear. The interviews that are in the movie though are very informative and they give us the scope of what this film was going to be. This thing had a ton of creativity behind it. Just hearing everyone talk about it and getting to see the artwork and models made, they came so far in the pre-production of it that even sets were being built. Hearing Tim Burton and other people talk about his vision for Superman was something so unique and different. It could have very well been a car wreck, but I so want to see the film now. It sucks that we never will. I'd suggest taking what was there and making Superman Lives an animated movie. Think about it. Tim Burton has a background in that area. All this stuff that was so revolutionary back then could definitely be done now, and especially in animated form, and there is beyond enough interest to market it. Bring in Nicolas Cage to voice Superman, and you could really have something. Make it happen, DC. There are a few problems with the doc, but its content really isn't one of them. The actual production on the interviews isn't exactly stellar. Some of them are shot and sound great, and others seem very thrown together and amateurish. However, the doc more than makes up for that in the exclusive artwork and recreated scenes from the script. This is a must-see for Superman fans. Go buy the movie online. I'm giving The Death of Superman Lives What Happened a very high 7 out of 10. There is a ton of extra features on the DVD and or Blu-ray, so don't let that score deter you. Those extra features push the total package much higher. Be on the lookout for more Real Reviews and new editions of our competitive argument show, Real Debates, coming soon. Be sure to like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like, comment on, and share this video. Remember, if it's not reviewed here, it just isn't real. I'm Walter Bernasiak, and I will see you at the movies.